Hey, welcome to another Robot Adventures uh, vlog. Uh, today I want to ask you guys uh, to pay attention and respond as much as you can. To, uh, let me know what you guys think. Talk to you guys later. Check it out. I am Optimus Prime. Hey, what's going on? So, uh, I spent the day over in Kawasaki today, the same name as the motorcycle, and, uh, had a little bit of free time, so I was like, all right, well, I'm going to check out some of these reviews and, uh, of the movie and see what the fuck everybody thinks. I read, uh, Roger Ebert's review. Uh, I found it very amusing and very proper. Uh, very accurate, very objective. I mean, a lot of things I hear from uh, uh, people are like, well, Bay can do action. Bay can do action. Uh, yeah, that's about all he can do, I guess. I mean, it's boom, 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 boom. And uh, everything else fucking goes to shit. Uh, the... You know, I, I, I watched uh, a Stop Motion Junior's review of it. There are a whole bunch of other guys I don't know who popped up on YouTube. Not from the old days, from 2007. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Transformer fans like it. Because there are Transformers in it. But, uh, yeah... Transformers fans hate it because there are fucking plot holes out the fucking ass and why the fuck are we watching this shit I mean it doesn't nobody understands what the fuck's going on you know you're just making up shit as you go along which is okay however you have to explain it I mean uh Night Slash 2020 was like uh you know just pointing out errors you know that guy he he's a movie buff he likes to go to movies I, I love movies also uh autofocus went to shit there I don't know why so we can re autofocus it I don't know okay there we go I'm back in autofocus yeah I mean it's so looking at it from a filmmaker's perspective uh, you can, I mean, you can understand why they did some of these things, you know, he's going to, the same set's going to be used in the first one and the second one. They're going to name it a different thing, of course, it's, but it's essentially the same set. The final battle is in the same place. Uh, there are so many plot holes, there are so many errors. Uh, what I, what I, I think the overall the overall impression from non not non super fans like or you know all you other guys out there who've been on YouTube for what uh, two or three years talking about Transformers is that uh, it's a disservice it's an injustice uh, to Transformers uh, it's a great, you know, it's great to see Transformers uh, on the big screen. I mean, I love Transformers. I, you know, it's it's great that a thing changes from one thing to another thing. However, this this has 25 years of history. Y you can't just ignore that. You know, just oh well, it's just a new thing. If fucking Optimus Prime fucking sucks cock and fucking Optimus Prime well of course Optimus Prime is going to die he died in the first movie the animated thing and they introduced a new line but I think that was explained as hey we don't know what the fuck we didn't know you guys liked Optimus Prime here's a new fucking guy that's the way it was explained I think from the toy Hasbro and the toy makers perspective which is totally acceptable however uh, 
I don't see people, in, if we took uh, uh, another another series which had a long, you know, history, I and mean, you take The Simpsons and you have, you know, Bart as a homosexual, or you have uh, Lisa, you know, as a stupid fucking idiot, uh, you have Marge as a, yeah, as a, as Ward Cleaver or whatever. You can't just change the characters to whatever, uh, you want them to be for this movie just because I don't know why the fuck. And I was, I, I checked out the, the writers of this thing. We got a, we got a, I forgot his name, Roberto Ocria or something like that, some Mexican guy. I, uh, of course, am Mexican-American. Born, born and raised in Texas. Giddy up. But, uh, looking at his past, I don't know how people become, uh, screen writers or screenplay authors or what. I don't know what credentials you need. He directed The Island. Which, of course, had a whole fucking shitload of plot holes. Uh, or he wrote uh, that. I mean, if you look down the list of his, uh, his credits, I'm like, well, that movie was kind of, it was so-so, you know? There was no, there was no precedent to the island. There was nothing to say, to dictate that these individuals had to be this way. So, of course, it was easy to write. You got 25 years of Transformer history. You just can't throw it out the window. And I, I, I think most Transformer fans are going to sit there and go, you know, yeah. I mean, I don't know why we are, we are acknowledging or giving credit to or tolerating this stupidity in directing and the stupidity and ignorance I guess that's a word I'm looking for or uh, I, I'm, I'm not really sure why I'm trying to I'm trying to you know figure out why we are not more up in arms, why we are not more insulted, why we are not more annoyed, pissed off uh, uh, at this, I guess, move, well, not only the movie, just this whole attitude that well, since it's a movie, it must be whatever continues. I don't know who gave the okay for these people to uh, tell us what the fuck Transformers should do and what the fuck Transformers are and what the fuck... It's just wh whoever gave the license, I guess... Uh, you know, so Hasbro or somebody took that or somebody... They said, okay, well, well, we'll just go with that. You know, do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why we, why we tolerate this shit. So, essentially, what I'm, what I'm asking you guys to do now is if you can reply to this video and just write down or comment or maybe video response the entire list of bullshit with the first two movies. So, what I'm thinking is that, uh, and you know, I hate to do it, and I don't even know why, I, I, I'm, why do Transformer fans have to suffer the insult of these movies and and I'm thinking I don't I don't think we have to, you know I think essentially Transformer fans are more intelligent 
and more well versed in the history and more understanding of the nature of transformers that we don't have to put up with this bullshit all of the fault uh, plot holes flaws errors all this shit that went through the editor went through Michael Bay went through all the writers I want to correct that uh, and I, I, I feel I feel fucked because uh, why the fuck do I have to correct this shit? Why do I? Why do Transformers fans, the real Transformer fans, not the not the ones that just go to the movies and say, wow, that's cool. I don't know who the fuck that is. I don't know who the fuck that is. But that's a great movie. The popcorn fans, of course, they are very nice. I mean, those are great. That's that's nice. I mean, I love popcorn movies all as much as the next one, but. So I'm saying, uh, please respond to to this. Just bitch the fuck out about how fucked up the the movies first and second one were, and uh, and uh, I hope through this discussion uh, we can find a solution and possibly uh, set the standard for Transformers Three. I don't know why we have to accept whatever these three writers, three writers, are in charge of the Transformer movie. What the fuck is that? I mean, their knowledge is, you know, I don't know what the fuck they know. So, yeah, uh, I, I sat through a whole bunch of reviews today uh, and uh, I sat through the hour of... Uh, Kalel Prime, I think his name is, a uh, British guy, and uh, saw Dynasis' thing, and it was very entertaining, uh, but I think essentially everyone uh, is pointing out the same plot holes. So, if we could get them all joined together, uh, then we can knock them out one by one, boom, 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 Part three. I'm thinking it's going to have to be something more like Lost. You know, the TV show where they have, uh, you know, flash forwards and flashbacks. Uh, try to eliminate some of these flaws. And uh, I was watching Night Slash 2020s, and he said something like, uh, "Why can Megatron fly through space in the vacuum of space, but freeze on Earth?" So I'm I'm just thinking. One solution to that problem would be that he did not freeze on Earth. He did not go into some kind of deep freeze because of the cold. I'm saying when he was scanning or when he found the cube or when he got near the cube, something, some power surge or something shut him down. So it wasn't some kind of... Uh, uh, oh, I, I landed on Earth, I'm in the, art, uh, the the North Pole, I'm fucking freezing. The freezing was just uh, the state they found him in. And I'm, I'm thinking a solution would be something like that. He got shut down because of uh, his manipulation of the AllSpark. So I'm thinking we need to come up with these kind of answers to all these Michael Bay plot holes. And I hate it, I hate it because... You know, essentially, the Transformers are fans are having to rescue or solve the problems of some guy who's getting fucking millions of dollars for being a fucking dumbass. And that just fucking, that doesn't sit well with me. So, what I'm asking you guys to do is fucking throw down all the fucking plot holes, throw down all the fucking bullshit you had with uh, the first two movies... And then, let's try to fucking solve it and fucking put together some kind of plausible answers for for part three. Flash forward, flashbacks. Alright guys, uh, <laughs> anyway, I was just uh, annoyed with that today. I, I, I'll post this up. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Come bye. Yeehaw.